guys, those are some of the things that we're going to be learning today, and welcome to the CQC Teen's first video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do to you right now is show you guys how to do the basic leg sweep. It's a basic CQC move. Alright guys, the number one component about the basic leg sweep is how quick you are. The quicker you are, the more damage you do. The first step is whenever the opponent throws a punch, this hand comes through and blocks. So try it again. Let's block and wrap, wraps the arm around. Once the arm is wrapped, grab the shirt, sweep the leg. The leg sweep reversal. The second step is a reversal. The only way to reverse this is to carry your opponent all the way through with you. For example, throws the punch, wraps it, grabs, sweeps, he carries you through. The next one is complete control. The next one is when a person grabs you. All you gotta do is simply come through again, comes up, and you have complete control over him. Allowing for knee kicks, elbow, and even a quick sweep down. I'll just quickly elaborate some more on what complete control is. You see, what ends up happening is once you wrap your hand around whatever arm he threw the punch, your, your other hand goes into a fist and either punches or holds his chin all the way up. You could hit the throat, but that is a very, very fatal shot. So it is something that you have to consider when doing this. Choke holds. Grab the punch, bring it through, come through. Make sure you get this triangle right here and that allows for the perfect flow. All right, guys, elaborating on the chokehold. Okay, this chokehold, as you can see, I t had to take him all the way down to the ground, but that's simply because he was putting up a fight. Um, the more that they put up the fight, the easier it is for them to fall to the ground and you just retain control. Triangle blocks. This one is if a person shoots in, for example, shoot in. All you do is a triangle block and it brings him down. Grabbing your wrist at whatever point, even if it's for a punch, you throw the punch, allows you to come in and quickly allows a sweep. Arm control. If your opponent grabs you, hand comes through, you turn the arm, this comes across once you have him right here, just grab the throat, sweep the leg. Yeah, I'm here. Guys, I just wanted to point out that during this arm control one, we are going very, very slow. The actual speed that it's supposed to be at is a lot faster. And the more that you practice, the faster you get, the more dangerous it is. Leg throw. And what happens is if your opponent grabs you and is taking you, what you're slowly going to do is you're going to walk back with them a couple steps. The next step that he takes is wide open. This goes right beneath his, right between his crotch. You go down and it's going to flip him over. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. I would actually like to dedicate this in the name of Alan Decoy Baker, because he specifically asked for something like this. So here's a takedown video. If you guys like this, please comment down below or hit that lickety like button, and I'll be sure to keep uploading them as fast as I can. Um, if you guys want some more martial arts, some kicks, punches, ask specifically whatever you guys want and I'll make sure it happens. Also, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Kevin because he is the number one composer, not only for Sons of Liberty, but just spread the word about him because he is a phenomenal composer and he deserves a lot of respect, just like Jordan. Jordan, I am very proud of you for completing your game and by the way, it is amazing. Also, to everyone that's watching that's not a part of Sons of Liberty, come and join Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty, the biggest Metal Gear Solid fan club in Facebook. Over 15,000 members. Snake out. Alright guys, have a good night or a good morning depending on where you're from and love you. Bye.